Okay, so this is just a simple tutorial on how to use Pivot Stick Figure Animator. This is our little stick man, and we are just going to make him wave up and down today. So as you can see, you can interact with his joints. Uh, the red ones are his joints, the orange one just allows you to move the whole thing. Um, so all we're going to do is get him in our starting position, which is pretty much just like this. And then we'll press next frame. And this puts a little picture up here, and you're going to put lots of pictures that once you're done they'll play in quick succession and it will create your animation so I am just going to slowly move his hands up and then his hand up and then down um, as you can see that gray area is where his hand was so I'm just going to create frames slowly going up and then down remember you don't want to um, go to far in one frame otherwise it won't be as smooth the animation at the end um, also instead of having to press next frame every time I'm just pressing space it's a lot quicker uh, especially when you're working with more complex animations <coughs> so just bring you back down to the starting position here and that's pretty much all there is to it so as you can see it's got all the frames up here and so now we're just going to put this at full speed and make sure it's on repeat and press play and there you go, he's waving um, if you slow it down you can see the frames actually moving and if you speed them up, not so much so that's pretty much all there is to making him wave um, some other useful things if you go into options you can make the area which you can animate in bigger so I'll just change the width and height and as you can see it's a little bit bigger now um, now the next useful thing is you can go file create figure type and then just um, create a stick figure if you don't like the one that's there just create any weird shape add lines, add circles some other functions here, change between them I don't know, increase line thickness, you can duplicate, you can just pretty much make whatever this is capable of. Um, so anyway, I don't know what this is, but anyway, say I want that in my animation, I'll just go file, save as thingy. And then if I want that in my little animation here, I'll just type it in there and there we have it um, there are some other things here uh, we can go edit just brings us straight to the editor for that particular thing flip it um, center obviously uh, color you can change the color of lines and then, oh, there we go um, you can change the size of it uh, you can say you have two things over it and the stick man's at the back so I just want him to come to the front and it's pretty easy front back and um, delete of course and uh, that's pretty much all to that one <coughs> one other handy thing is that you can load animation uh, backgrounds that you have uh, downloaded for your animation so that's here so you can just load a picture that you have um, in your desktop files but I don't have any at the moment so yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it um, it's very simple but it can be used to create some pretty awesome animations if you get the hang of it um, it does take a bit of time but it can be pretty fun once you get used to it so